Okay, so here's the old filter. It was a canister style filter, a gravity feed type of design where the water comes in through the top, goes down through the filter, and then gets discharged out the bottom of it. Uh, these are small filters for the size pond that we had. It's a really high maintenance filter. The idea basically is you can spin the top off easily or not so easily. And inside here, you have layers of material. You have a carbon pad, clarify the water, way too small. And then you have a sponge to keep debris and sediment from getting back into the pond. Again, way too small. And then inside here is all sorts of plastic biomedia that's meant to break down the nutrients that build up inside the pond. For this size pond, there's no way that this filter was ever doing the job, which is why they had such poor water quality. So, let's take a look at these filters. We're going to be installing a Biofalls and Skimmer Box filter combination. This is a good size filter. This will do a great job of providing biological filtration, mechanical filtration uh, for this pond. It will have no problem handling the volume of water that we have. The skimmer box is a large skimmer box. It's going to house a 4,500 gallon per hour pump that will recirculate the water back up top through this biofalls. Inside here are the components of the biofalls. You can see some really heavy duty sponges, three layers of heavy duty sponges, uh, about an inch or so thick each one. That's really going to do the job. That's really what you want to have. Um, the positioning of the skimmer box is kept in the corner across from the waterfall because we want to ensure that there's complete circulation from this area of the waterfall going over to the skimmer box for really effective filtration purposes. Okay, we have the protector going in, which is the underlayment. Now, in old construction techniques, people used to use sand, old newspaper, um, old pieces of carpeting, and stuff like that. But that really doesn't cut it. The problem with sand is that it really doesn't adhere to the sides of the ponds. Eventually, it's going to slope into the center and create a mound underneath the liner. Um, the newspaper and everything just really doesn't cut it. There's much better materials now. What we use here is a heavy-duty felt material. Very strong. It adheres to the excavation that we've done in, we've dug in the form that we've built it. And it allows, it's porous, it's a needle punched felt, so it allows gases to escape from underneath the liner. As a rubber liner sits in contact with the dirt, you can have gases build up underneath it, and this porosity allows those gases to escape. Okay. After the underlayment has gone in, which is our protective layer to keep from roots and rocks and edges and everything else that may compromise a liner, after that goes in, our liner goes in. We're using a 45 mil EPDM liner. Um, mil is just a measure of thickness on this. EPDM is the material. Very heavy duty. Um, it, it's hard to put a hole in this. You almost have to want to put a hole in this. These liners come with 20 year manufacturer warranties. They have 40 year life expectancy. This is the way to go. Really flexible. It adheres to the way we excavate everything and keeps the shape of our design really well. Um, this is the way to go. We're going to cover everything with rock work after this so you don't see liner. It has a very natural presentation that way. Liner is great, but you don't want to see it in your pond. Here we have some of the rock work that we're going to be installing to the pond here. We're using a Pennsylvania type of wall stone. It's a really nice chunky material. It's going to blend really well with the other stuff that we have in here. And right here is actually the artificial stone cover for our skimmer box. Fits right on top and should blend in really well with the materials that we're using. Okay, now with the liners in place, we start the process of rocking in the liner. Okay, so now we got the pond rocked in and we're washing everything down, getting ready to give it its final rinse. Our new waterfall has been completely rocked in. We've already done rinsing on it and we'll be able to start her up pretty soon. Okay, so it's three days later and a renovation is complete. We did everything we said we were gonna do. We've made the pond bigger, we've made it deeper. We installed the skimmer box biofalls filtration system. All the plumbing is running underground, not exposed like before. We put in the underlayment, the EPDM liner, covered everything with rock work and gravel. We've installed an underwater lighting system with a transformer that's programmable to turn on and off when you want it to go. 
and we have about 4,500 gallons per hour of water moving through here. We used approximately four tons of stone. Uh, we reused a lot of the rock work that we had previously. Why, you, why not use that stuff? It was really natural looking. I think we used it to uh, its best advantage and it really looks great now. Over my shoulder you can see the waterfall and I'm going to take a look around with you right now. Here's the body of the pond. We made it about 10 inches deeper. Now we have two different levels. The level closer to the skimming area will be able to do plants. We have a deeper area of course for the fish to swim down and to give more volume. We have a nice waterfall entryway and again we're moving about 4,500 gallons of water through here and at night we'll have a light right underneath that cascade to light that up. We also have a light in the body of the pond to light that up. Our skimmer box is located right over here. You can see the artificial rock cover right there. Very lightweight, easy to work with when it's time to do maintenance. Here's the waterfall. To this all in a couple of days Thanks for watching the Pond Hunter video series and sticking with us for this entire pond renovation. We hope we got to show you something that went from bad to good and now is a compliment to an entryway of a beautiful home. If you or somebody you know is interested in having a pond renovation, don't hesitate to call us or contact us. Shoot us an email. I'm sure we can help you out. Thanks again for watching.